It's time! Well, 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 well. This is gonna be crazy. We got the shirt. You know I had to wear it. It's back, special occasions. Here we go. It's finally time to game. No more prep, no more arranging. The end is nigh. Everybody in chat, get in your move. You'll never get another chance. A record-breaking hundred moves in chat. Let's roll it. My move, Joe. Max left. Equip Thorin. Beautiful start to the run. My move, nah, max left. Drop Alon left. We're going for a Joe save, trying to block off attack roots. Enemy face. Long coup. I didn't turn on animations. I'm stupid. Oh, no. And lon has gone. Vengeance it is gonna need to proc here after some dual guard shenanigans. But it's not to be. But hey, there's a reason I started the stream at 3 p.m. Eastern. It's because we are gonna keep going. Here we go. Attempt number one is over. But attempt number two awaits us. Our first attempt ended in failure, with Joe being sent to death on the left side. Will history repeat itself, or will we forge the path to take out Grima? My move, Joe up max. No pair up. Joe up max off the bat. The path to Grima is open. You really need to get lucky. E max. Lucina attack with the bow. How will it play out? One damage. It's guaranteed. My move, Joe up max. Swap to Morgan. Morgan is a huge ass. My move, Joe. Rescue Croc. And this could be GG. 20 damage. 22. Exploration. 20 damage. There's no way. There's already a path open to Grima. Darith chooses violence. Erica's on Grima. 4 damage. Krom hits that one, though. 21 crit. 26 HP. This is it. This is the kill. Coca Cola! Kirsch! Attack with Hector's axe! And no crit! No dual attack! We are thwarted. Yo, Mama up max rescue Lucina. Act one is not going for kills. And this is a dream start. Joe Mama up max. And if we don't clear, Yo Mama is probably dead. And now. It's time. Attack Grima Falcon. That is your shot. My move, Lucina. Up five. Left one. Trade Bingo Axe two. Prom cannot equip the Bingo Axe. And that ends the run because I can't undo it. Bingo Axe enjoyers, you've dug your grave. Now Lion. Silver Lance. Four hours, by the way. Four hours. We are here for victory and nothing else. We, the keepers of this nation, will have our day. Here we go. It's a random tree and it's a thrower. It's a thrower. Wow. After that speech, my move Joe down max rescue Lucy. Well, let's uh let's keep going. My move Morgan parent to Joe. That actually might be a pretty good save. Things might not be lost down here. We'll see. It's like I said, it's not over till it's over. Here we go. I think Joe might be done here though. Oh God. Dual guard is gonna keep it alive. Beast killer is there. And she lives the beast killer. Morgan comes clutch. And is this over? Is this really over? Another do Morgan. Morgan's gaming. Did the throw. Is this run not dead? Can Joe live this? I think she will. Morgan is dual guarding everything. She's dual guarding everything. It's not over till it's over, folks. Going beast mode. That one finally hits. But Joe sweeps the bottom. Joe's got to keep moving up and heal. Lucina's got to keep moving up. You might not be in striking distance of these enemies quite yet. And you've got a lot of enemies to deal with. My move, Joe Mama, up max. Switch to Morgan. There you go. 
Joe lives. If you can get Lucy up the board, and if Lucy can survive a turn, you might have a chance. But can chat coordinate it? Can chat pull it together? Foolishly, foolishly fool. One of my oldest subscribers is here for the finale. And up max rally. Lucy in striking position if that general falls. This is winnable. Our final move of the turn, it's Tiki. Tiki is not the strongest. You might want to switch to Kiel and maybe bait some enemies with the bow. I have faith in Kiel to survive. Tiki up max. Switch to Kiel. Equip. Killer bow. Here we go, folks. Another crucial move. A run that looked dead has risen from the grave. Huge miss. Kiel with the first bait. That's pretty good hit, though. And it's going to. And now Kiel needs to really come clutch here. Killing edge. The bait is working, but at what cost? This has to miss. I was careless. The yell, the dodge master, definitely baited the enemies, but it leads to her demise. It was my idea, it was my idea. <laughs> and there it is. The run is still in play. Jerome can get this kill and open the path to Grima, where Lucy and Na can go for the kill. Jerome killed the general. It's in play. If this plan fails, it's GG's once more. And the path to victory opens once more. Here we go. Na, 12 times two. With Lucy, you need to dodge. Torchic EX. My move, path choice. You've got to do this though, right? It's not going to kill the boss, so I'm not- I'm fine to do this. Let's try it. An Astra proc would be blessed. I am Grima. I am Despair. Here we go. Let's see it. Can Na get it done? Can Na get it done? It's Grima. We need an Astra. We need something from Na here. To bring this home. Astra! It's a huge Astra! That's guaranteed damage! And a crit! 1%! Grima's down to 6 HP! No damage from Lon! Nah, with the miss! This is huge! Grima's on the brink! It only takes one more move. Lucina, 20 damage. A Krom dual attack will finish it. Capybara! Please, Cappy. Oh my god, I'm going through all this spam. My move, Akmaku Tree's move, which is Capybara's move, which is Akmaku Tree's move, which is Capybara's move, which is Akmaku Tree's move, which is my move. Lucy hits the boss. We're doing it. Is this the run? Rally Lux, Rally Specs in the chat. This might be your last chance. I challenge my fate. I lost to you once, monster. I shall not lose again. Lucina. Aether! That's the win! That's gotta be the win! Yes! Damn you! It's over! It's done! On the unlikely list of runs. What started as a disaster turns into a legend. The greatest end game you have ever seen. Chat beats Fire Emblem and an Aether proc from Lucy to finish it off. We, we actually beat the fucking game. Incredible. To a moment in Fire Emblem history. It's never been done before. There's one more choice to make. The poll is going up. What will it be, chat? What will it be? It's a resounding no. And Joe Mama, for the last time, death. After death, Joe Mama. Wait, what? What? What are you doing? For once, I'm glad you and I are the same. Now I can give my life to protect those I care for. What? You would not dare. All right. I would, and I will. The evils you would visit on this world are unthinkable. In some way, I, we share the blame. It's only right we meet our end together. <laughs> no!
Wow. What a playthrough. A year, an incredible year. And now we can relive some memories here. The nine turn premonition, legendary. What a run. Nine turn, that's where it all started. It all started last December, nine turns in the premonition. The prologue took us eight turns. The Lisa death, chapter one, the Virian craziness. Oh man, there, every chapter. So many memories. Chapter 2, Shepherds, The Massacre. Chapter 3, I think one of our early clears, I think. Crazy. Two Falchions, I think we cleared first try too. I think that's when we were on the good streak. Wow. Frederick. Look at those MVPs for Frederick. Absolutely rocking the house. Paralogue 1, the infamous Donald Death. <laughs> it will live forever in infamy. Sully and Kellum, oh man, they're all dead. They're all dead. Frederick's dead. Sully's dead. Oh man, it's brutal. Chapter 9, another crazy one. Chapter 10, some of the craziest moments in the entire playthrough. Chapter 11, an absolute epic, the fall of Maribel. Incredible. The early prologues. Chapter 12, an absolute disaster. The Gregor MVP, look at that. Gregor MVP. I think that's his only MVP. Gregor Gaming, Gregor Chad's in the chat. Chapter 13, where he fell. Actually, no, chapter 14 is where he fell. I do. No, it was it was 15. Chapter 15. 14 was a disaster. The three turns there. Gregor Gaming. Absolutely legendary. Inexorable death. Thanks for the fiver, don't panic. Guy is gaming is now unlocked permanently. Sibling Blades was one of the great Gaius Gaming moments for sure. Gaius Gaming's in the chat. Gregor Chad's in the chat. One last time. One last rodeo. One last rodeo. There's just... I'm so glad I did this, man. I'm so glad. And I'm so glad that in the highlights that these are memorialized forever. All these incredible moments, these chapters. Like this, this list is just, the memories just flood back and it's just so awesome that we kind we kind of all went through this together, right? We were all in this together. Holy shit. The late paralogs and endgame. A three turn epic. What a run. What a run. And now, the memorials. Lisa won battles, zero victories. Oh, wow. Frederick with the gold. 227 battles, but taken out at the Dragon's Table. What a legend. Virian, of course. Taken out on the North Road in the Chapter 2 Massacre. Sully. What a legend. Sully was legendary. And was only due to some craziness that she ended up falling. Vike dies. Again, the Chapter 2 Massacre. Classic. Dude. Red 5T with the tenor. Another North Road casualty. Dude, all the North Road, man. The North Road is covered in blood. Another North Road death there for Muriel. Jesus. Kellum. Oh my god, Kellum. Legendary unit. The pan kill. Insane. Sumia at the Long Fort. One of the only... Early, another early kill. Didn't even have a chance. Longku with the bronze. Give it up for Longku. Longku was struggling. 
so much of the playthrough. But a bronze is incredible for Long Ku. Incredible. An absolute legend. From the when he joined all the way to the end, he made it through. Long Ku Gaming is a legendary. So many incredible vantages, wild stuff. Rickon, down at the border pass. Another legend of the playthrough. Rickon and Maribel fighting for their lives. And Maribel. What can be said about Maribel, as been said before? Still, to this day, the most killed unit other than the Lords. Border Sands death for Pan at the hands of Kellogg. Also the Archer Krom stuff. Gaius Gaming. Gaius Gaming's in the chat. What a run Gaius had. What a run. Incredible. Border Sands. Cordelia also fell. Gregor Gaming's in the dude. Gregor and Guy, man. Gregor died in Vom Harbor. Another legend of the playthrough. No, we also falling in the Yenfei chapter. Libra, the last healer, but not the last because Joe came in at the end. But Libra also put in work. Tharja, some crazy turns. Remember the Tharja treasure crit? Or we killed the thief with the crit? That was insane. Olivia at the military. Another. <laughs> Dude, there's so many moments, man. I can't even begin to go through all these. Shersh makes it to the end. Shersh is the only flyer that made it all the way to the end. All the way. Went the whole distance. The whole distance Shersh went. One of the craziest plot twists in the playthrough. She made it the whole way. Genuinely insane. Henry, a short-lived legend. We trained him up. He went nuts. But again, felt the hands of the Yenfei chapter in the lava. Seiri, dying in the fight against Walhart in another wild one. Another wild one. Basilio, another short legend. Taking out Origin Peak, along with, I think, the next one, Flavia. Both falling in that crazy run. Crazy, crazy run. And Donald uh, mysteriously died. It's unknown how. I don't know how that happened, but he just vanished. Uh, Anna at the sea road. Anna was a target, another healer. Lucina makes it to the end. 131 victories. Lucina, I thought, was going to be targeted way more. But Lucina ended up becoming critical and gets the final kill on Grima. What a run. What a run for Lucy. Lucina Hearts, Lucy Choppers, Lucy 3Ds. Your emotes of choice. Fly your flags. Kayel. Another mysterious death. Don't know how that one happened. Uh, it might have been necessary, though. Jerome makes it to the end. Jerome makes it to the end. And he was critical, too, in the end. Blazing a path with that hammer. Legendary. Was key part of our plan to win, which I didn't think would happen. Morgan with 189 with the silver. Morgan, it's more you Morgan times in the chat. Another legend. 189 wins, and we only had Morgan, I think, for less than half the playthrough. I'm not I'm surprised it's not gold. Freddy with the gold's incredible. Morgan time. Morgan with the silver. Carried hard. Nah. Great unit. Another one critical to our success. That Astra is one of the most clutch things I've seen in my life. It was our only path to the win. And Nah got it done. Nah got it done. Astra Maneki is legendary. And will live for all time. All, all time. Tiki, short time with us. But does survive that final chapter after being targeted quite frequently. She does make it to the end. We picked her up just before endgame. She fights in endgame. She lives to see it to the end. And then we get the credits. Wow. I can't believe we're even here. When I started this run, I had no clue. I had no clue that we'd even make it to the end. I thought we'd softlock. I thought that interest would die down. I never really saw this in my head when we started. It was a year ago 
when I began this playthrough. That stream had 30 viewers, 30 or less. Today, we peaked at 470. It's genuinely mind blowing, the support that everybody put behind this playthrough. The fan art, the posts, the memes, the discussion, everybody really rallied behind this idea, made it their own, brought their own thing to it, created their own stories, own lore. The way it came together was genuinely incredible. And I'm so glad and I'm so happy that this concept resonated with so many people and that I got to really share this with so many, like I got to share this basically with the world with you guys. And I'm so glad that I chose to do this. This is one of the best decisions I think I ever made in terms of content creation. I am so glad that I decided to change my content. It was scary. I didn't know if it would work. Also, my earphones just died. Literally, the stream been streaming so long, my earbuds died. I want to thank everybody for supporting the stream, for tuning in. This was, the, like I said, one of the best decisions I ever made as a creator. It's one of the most meaningful things I've had and been a huge part of my life over the past year. And we beat the game. We beat the game. Dude, that's an accomplishment in of itself. We may only have eight units left alive or nine units left alive, but we did it. We beat the game. Can we just celebrate that for a minute? We actually beat it. We actually beat the game. I'm getting wrapped up in all the contests, but we beat the game. We get the Krom and Joe Mama. You know, it lists their victories, but there's a lot of defeats in there. <laughs> And with that, we come to the end of Chat Plays Fire Emblem. An incredible ride. The way this went down, the way this happened, I think is irreplaceable. And I'm so glad that this is the run, right? But I still really want to express so, so all my thanks for everybody in chat and anybody who supported or shared the streams, became a member, left a message, anything related to that series. Sincerely thank you for making the series what it was. We say goodbye to Chat Plays Fire Emblem, but we say hello to new series on the horizon, to new games, new ideas, new frontiers. People don't remember, Chat Plays Fire Emblem was just one stream idea, it happened to catch. There's gonna be more series. I'm always gonna have chat at the focus of my streams and making sure that it's entertaining for y'all and that you have fun too. But it's time to say goodbye to Chat Plays Fire Emblem. I will see you next year, on stream at least.